Yeah, you talk about grip care, I think it's really interesting because I it's been our experience that the majority of people that regrip, and it's not even that many people, but the majority of people that regrip really never never care for their grips as far as post installation. And there's a lot you can do to really extend the life of our product. So I just have this demonstration here. People will always clean their clubs after a round of golf or before a tournament. Uh, but the one thing that they kind of ignore is the grip. And this is the only part of the club you touch, so it's very, very important. And you'll notice that the guys on tour, before they hit a shot, a lot of times their caddies will take a wet towel and really wipe off that grip. And what that's doing is really, uh, you know, helping tack up that grip again so it feels like new. And this is literally after every shot. But what I always tell people to really extend the life of their grips, because this is a rubber-based product and there's a planned obsolescence to it. It's going to wear out over time as a function of use and UV and dirt and oil. It's eventually going to wear out, but it's a very gradual thing. So you really don't know that it's worn out until it's too late. But you can really extend the life of this by washing your grips every, every three, four, five rounds. Now, I'm bad about it because I, I'm really, really... Um, down in the weeds as far as my grips go and I wash them literally after every round and I probably play I don't know probably 70 80 times a year but it's amazing to me just the the, the new grip feel that washing your grips really provides to the player so I'm going to demonstrate on, on how we do it at Golf Pride <clears throat> and I know there's a lot of stuff floating around out there about different chemicals that they put on the grips uh, wipes, I mean, you name it. But, you know, we, we're kind of, we can be old school at Golf Pride when it comes to certain things. And I think cleaning your grips is one of them, but I think this has really stood the test of time. Very, very easy. All you need is some hot water and you need some, um, you know, liquid, um, you know, Ajax, triple action orange. You don't have to use this, but, uh, you know, just some liquid soap and a hard bristle scrub brush. And what you'll do is you'll scrub these grips down, <clears throat> really soap them up, and then you'll rinse them off. And it's amazing how much dirt and kind of scummy water will rinse off of these grips. And then you just towel them dry. And this really, really will tack them up. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that for you. <clears throat> All right, so here we go. So what we'll do is what, what I usually do is I will take the scrub brush, and it's down the sink. You probably can't see that. And I will just, you know, put some <clears throat> dish soap into it, into the bristles. Then I turn on the water, and I wet the grip down. Okay, like a car wash or something. You know, you want to wet the car before you actually wash it. So then we get the scrub brush wet, and here we go. You can see it really starting to soap up there. That's good. And really, you can see all of the soap getting down into the texture of the grip. You see that? It's almost like we're adding paint fill or something but it's really getting down to the basement of those texture pattern, which is good, okay? Just kind of rush, scrub that thing up. And if you really want to get detailed, you can even do the end cap because those really take the most abuse at the bottom of a golf bag, right? Okay. You can really clean this thing up. Here we go. Okay, and then you just simply rinse it off, hot water. <clears throat> there we go. Really rinse that thing off, there we go, okay? And you just take a towel. And I always tell people, I mean, I, I like to use these, you know, almost like a bath towel or something, those white Turkish towels. And if you leave some lint behind on that grip, that's okay. That's no problem. But really towel that thing. I really dry this thing off. Get this thing really dry. And you'll even see some lint left behind. But like I said, that's no problem. This thing is going to feel like new after you do it. There we go, that's good to go. And you can even see some of the length that's left behind and that's not a problem, but this thing feels brand new. And we always tell people, you know, you want to regrip every 40 or 50 rounds, but if you wash your grips consistently, then you can even, you know, make them last another 30, 40 rounds. And it's really gonna just help the feel, you know, and that connection to the club, and that's the most important thing. Mm -hmm.